Hey, this is Mike with AshTractorMike.com. I'm standing in front of an area that 10 days ago was just a big bare field of dirt. I'm at my neighbor's house. They had some work done on the water lines that run from their well to the house. They had to dig them up, put in new water lines, and then cover them back up. And my neighbor Wes and his wife Julie, are, they're really good friends of ours, and they were going to call somebody to come in and put this area in back in, in lawn. And I said, Wes, if you'll let me do it, I'll assist you. If you'll get uh, the seed and some straw bales, I'll bring the tractor over and a rock rake. I've always wanted to try this to see if it would work, but I've got an opinion about how I think you could get a really nice stand of grass put in just using the tractor and a rock rake. And so we decided to do this, and that was a little less than 10 days ago. And if you look behind me, we've got a really nice stand of grass. So I want to go through the steps that we went through to do this. Now first off, this is a cool season grass. It's November and, and it, it's really good grass growing weather right now. Today it's coming a light sprinkle and so the time of year you want to put cool season grasses in, I think the only time I've had experience is in the fall. And in the fall the grass gets up and gets really established. It, it doesn't mind this cool weather and, and there's no weeds to compete with it. If you plant in the spring you have to you have to compete with weeds that come up all summer long and you end up with a really weak stand of grass that may not even last. So what we did here, first off, we had a big trench. Wes went along and did the final grading with the loader bucket and just got it as level as he possibly could. Then we came in with the rock rake to remove the little bitty rocks that were left and the debris. And we went back and forth several times across the, the area and we picked up the rocks and there were some roots and different things like that to make it as smooth as possible so when Wes runs over it with the lawnmower he's not going to throw a bunch of objects through his windows and, and through his shop. So we got it really down. It looked, looked really nice when we got done and this is what it looked like. Next thing, I have a cyclone cedar that is probably older than me that I got from my dad. When my dad passed away I inherited it. it. And this is it right here. It's, it's almost rotten, but it works like a charm. So what we did, we got some fescue seed and went back and forth. I always like to take half the seed and go north and south, and then half the seed and go east and west. And this, we, we, we always try to get the painted seed where you can kind of see where it is in the dirt so you get good coverage. We got the seed all down. The next step is you want to cover the seed with just a little bit of dirt. I've always heard that a seed likes to be covered with half the width of the seed with dirt on top of it. And that's not very much dirt. When you're sowing grass seed, those seeds are so small, you just want like a little more than dust on top of it. So what we did, we turned the rock rake around backwards and just backed over the area to just kind of rough up the dirt a little bit and get just a little bit of coverage on the seed. The next thing we did, seeds like to be in firm contact with the soil. And a lot of people like to fluff up the dirt and put the seeds in and then leave it really loose. But the seed needs to be in solid contact with the dirt. And so what we did, we ran the tractor over this area back and forth just one time, just enough to put the seed in firm contact with the soil. And then the final thing we did, we took some straw bales and covered the area. And what, what straw bales do, it, it, it holds moisture. And we got the straw bales spread out. I've tried seeding in the fall before without using straw bales and have very poor results. So I think the straw bales are a necessity. And, and mainly they hold water in, but if you've got a slope, they'll also kind of keep that seed from going down a hill. Wes and Julie have kept this area wet, moist, for the last 10 days. You may not want to water every day, but every other day. You have a little bit of sunshine and some Cool temperatures, cool nighttime temperatures, you'll get a nice stand of grass. I'm going to go around this stand of grass here and just kind of show you what we got.
There's a few bare spots that'll need to be overseeded, but by and large, you've got a really nice stand of grass. After you get the grass established, don't be afraid to mow it. On cool season grasses, mow high. Height is really important on cool season grasses. You'll want to mow at least three and a half inches high. I think four and a half is better. And I don't think you have to mow anymore when you mow high like that. And it really lets that grass establish a solid turf and really do well. Hey, I survive on web traffic. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with other tractor enthusiasts and like my Facebook page. And hey, if you've got comments, put them below. We'll try to answer them. Hey, thanks for watching.